now that you've drawn your superhero um, and gotten it the way you want it, you can add some tempera paint. And I've got three different brushes here. I've got a flat brush, which is good for covering big areas. And that's actually not gonna be very useful today. So I'm, not, I'm just gonna set that one aside. I have two round brushes. One is larger and one is smaller. And I even have round brushes that are bigger than that in the art room. But for the size, I'm gonna use these. So what you wanna do is make sure that you use the big brush for the big areas to cover large areas and the little brush would be for smaller stuff. Start with the large parts first. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna dip the tip. And when I look at my brush, I can see that the paint only is on the tip of it. I can see the hair of the brush still. It's not on the metal. I'm going to hold this like a pencil. I'm going to go ahead and paint in some of these spots here. Now I didn't get quite up next to the edge of that, and that's because I've got my big brush. I can go in later and touch that up with a small brush. It's starting to get a little bit scratchy, so I just dip the tip again very carefully and continue along. When I want to change colors, I wipe on a paper towel, I rinse, and I wipe again. It looks like that water coming off of my paper towel is not quite clean, so I'm going to rinse some more. And that way I don't get any of that red in with the yellow that I want to use. So I'm going to use that down here. So I would go ahead and paint all of this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what's nice about this small brush now. I can come in and really just touch up those spaces where the paper is still showing underneath. Now we're actually going to cut these out later and paste them into a background, so don't worry too much about painting this part. So when I want to change colors, I wipe, I rinse, and I wipe. And this letter is going to be great for a little bitty brush. wipe, you rinse, and you wipe. 